In this video, we will learn about a very simple idea from number theory, but we will also see how this simple problem can become easily very complicated. It is simply 1 times 2 times 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So it's a product of 9 numbers. See that there is a 5 here and there is a 2 here. So these two multiplied gives you 10. So the last digit of 9 factorial must be 0. It's a number that is multiplied by 10. It's a multiple of 10. So last digit must be 0. Hello students, this is Ashwini from Cheta.com. In this video, we will learn about a very simple idea from number theory, but we will also see how this simple problem can become easily very complicated. So, let's look at the problem first. It says that there is a huge number called 9 factorial plus 3 to the power 9966. The question is, how can you find out the last digit of this number? Now, this seems quite complicated, but if you start unraveling it, you will see it's actually very simple. 9 factorial, let's look at that. It is simply 1 times 2 times 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So it's a product of 9 numbers. It seems intimidating, but we are only interested in the last digit. So what will we do? Well, we will see that there is a 5 here and there is a 2 here. So these two multiplied gives you 10. So the last digit of 9 factorial must be 0. It's a number that is multiplied by 10. It's a multiple of 10. So last digit must be 0. So 9 factorial is fine. We don't even have to worry about 9 factorial. The last digit is 0. So whatever is the last digit of 3 to the power 9966, that will be the last digit of the total sum. Okay, so now 3 to the power 9966. It's simply 3 times 3 times 3, 9966 times. It's a huge, huge, huge number. But we will be able to observe a pattern. What is the pattern about? It is the last digits of the powers of 3. Last digits of the powers of 3. So let's look at that. And then let's try to find out why it is so. So 3 to the power 1 is 3. So the last digit is 3. 3 to the power 2 is 9. The last digit is also 9. 3 to the power 3 is 27. The last digit is 7. 3 to the power 4 is 81. The last digit is 1. So 3, 9, 7, 1. Okay, if I do 3 to the power 5, if you just multiply 81 with 3, whatever you get, you actually get 243. But we're not interested in that. We are interested in the last digit. It's 3 times 1, 3. So that's 3. So you see, this This is repeating. 3, 9, 7, 1. And then again, 3. And then again, if you multiply 3 to the power 5 with 3, that is 3 to the power 6, you will get 3 times 3, that's 9. The last digit will again be 9. So it will continue 3971 3971 like this it will continue the question is what will happen in 3 to the power 9976 uh, 66 just see how many times this group of four things appear so let's bring the power 9966 9966 and let's divide it by 4 because it's repeating in groups of 4 we want to see how many times it repeats so 4 into 2 is 8, 1, 9. Uh, 4 into 4 is 16, that is 36. 4 into 9 is 36. And you have 6, 4, 2 is the remainder. So this group of 4 repeats 2, 4, 9, 1 times. It repeats 2, 4, 9, 1 times and it goes 2 more steps. It repeats this group of 4 so many times and then it will be twice so 3 and 9 so the last digit is 9 last digit is 9 
So I hope you understood what what happened. So the last digit of three nine to the power nine nine six six is nine. The last digit of nine factorial is zero. So you have zero plus nine is nine. Okay. Now this problem can become much more complicated. Let's say if I ask you what is the last digit of two thousand twenty five factorial. Well, it's zero. Because it's a multiple of ten. Again, you can just keep on multiplying the numbers, and you will get a five somewhere. You'll get a two somewhere. As soon as you get five and two, you get a ten. So this number becomes a multiple of ten. So the last digit is zero. So that's not a problem. The question is: here's a challenge question. Last non-zero digit of two zero two five factorial. Can you find that out? Give it a try. If you can, put it in the comment section. If you are interested in mathematical olympiads, physics olympiads, research programs, ISI CMI entrance programs, leadership programs, or Ivy League university applications, then check the links in the description. We have excellent programs for that. All the best. I'll see you in the next one.